In this video, I'm going to show a brief feature of companion mode with the Windows laptop to our neat frame running in a personal mode with Microsoft Teams. Uh, so to get started, you can see my laptop and my frame are locked. So with my fingerprint, I'm going to unlock my laptop and that will automatically unlock my frame. And then I can see my day's list of meetings there. Uh, I'm just going to join the meeting from my frame. I've got my video on, my mic is on, but you get the option there. So join now. And what that's done with companion mode, because my Windows laptop is paired to my neat frame, it's automatically also joined the meeting with no audio or camera on my laptop, but it's giving me control of the meeting on my frame. So on my laptop here, if I turn my camera off, turn my camera off, turn my camera on, etc. Same as mic mute. But what this does, uh, and I'm just waiting for my, my colleague to join this meeting, um, it gives me an easy way to share my screen and also receive shared content if someone else wants to share. So I get the nice seamless video experience here, uh, looking at the camera eye level, 50 megapixel camera on the frame, no headphone fatigue, got the built-in mic array and speakers down the bottom. Uh, and there's my colleague Christian joining now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make Christian uh, fill my frame to make it an even more immersive experience. Christian's joining from his laptop um, but first of all, I'll show you content sharing from my side. So uh, the, the question has been raised, how do you share content if you're having a Teams meeting on your frame? So because it automatically started Teams on my laptop, I just simply click share. I'm gonna select the window and uh, share my browser up the top here. And that is now sharing into the meeting so Christian can see it. Because I'm sharing it from my laptop, I don't need to see it full screen on my frame. So it gives me a better experience on my frame. If I did want to see the content on my frame, I can just expand it from down the bottom here and pinch to zoom. Um, and I can also go down here to meeting views and um, change that just to straight content or to the gallery. So it puts Christian back up in, in full view. So I'm gonna stop sharing. And Christian, if you wouldn't mind, I'll just start my video up there. If you wouldn't mind sharing from your side and we'll just see how that comes through when I'm talking to you on the frame. Yeah, cool, so again, Christian sharing content from his side, the default is for the content to come through into my Teams client. So I can make that much bigger because I've got a bigger screen here, but I've still got the natural video experience with Christian. The shared content from Christian is on my frame. I can make that bigger down the bottom here, pinch to zoom again. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a very handy way of having a meeting with the neat frame. And that's, that's the, um, the concept of sharing content. So I can make that as big or as small as I want on my laptop. Thanks a lot, Christian. Um, can you stop sharing and then we'll just go straight back to video. Cool, thanks mate, that's all, that's all done. So I'll finish the meeting there, then I'll, I'll finish up the video. Talk to you soon. Okay, thank you. Thanks mate. So from, I can either end the meeting from the frame here or I can end the meeting from my Teams client on my laptop. So I'm just gonna say end meeting and end. Um, and to lock my frame, so say I'm now finished, I wanna go and do something, all I have to do is lock my laptop and my frame automatically locks as well. If someone tries to unlock it because it's in personal mode, it's gonna prompt me for the, uh, the pin that I've set. So that's a, a very quick demonstration of companion mode with my Windows laptop to my neat frame.